Hi, I'm Matt from Krotos. I'm going to talk you through how to create a screeching vocal effect in Dehumanizer. This method would work very well for a female ghost-like character for a game or a film. So I'm looking for a screaming type of input sound, so I've selected this high female squeak file from our library. We're going to start looking at the spectral shifting module, and so I'm going to start the playback, and I'm going to bring up the morph control, which acts like a dry wet, up from 0 to 100, so you can slowly hear the processing. So the spectral shifting module works with two different pitch shifters which act according to amplitude. So this first pitch shifter kicks in almost immediately on the first 50% of the incoming signal. The second one I pitch lower and kicks in at a higher rate so that a certain amplitude it starts to kick in. So let's apply some different types of convolution to the sound for more detail. Here we're using cross synthesis using monkey squealing and dogs fighting. So we're going to add in a little bit of the scrubbing convolution here as well. This is to give a more animalistic character. So this is convolution based on certain areas of the sound file. So it takes the incoming signal and convolves based on the envelope that you've drawn here. Depending on the envelope, it will convolve on a different area of the sound file. So remember that Dehumanizer is a very sensitive, performative tool. The type of incoming audio can really change the character of the sound, as you can hear. So now I'm going to add a little delay pitch shifting, just a different type of pitch shifting, including delay. So this will add a slight delay to the signal and the pitch shifting, which can create a lot of interesting effects. It also includes feedback, so you can have a little bit of depth to the sound as well. So you can hear this acting now. Let's blend that in with the other effects. So a little traditional pitch shifting will also come in handy. We've got two different transposition engines going in, so we can get multiple pitches simultaneously. So since I'm using Dehumanizer Pro Extended, I'm going to use the modulation here. This is great, just to add a little bit of life and character to a sound. Here you can select the destinations for the modulation, and also the range, the amount, speed, and waveform used for the modulation. So this can really just help bring the sound alive. It can either be really subtle or really excessive. Here it's quite, it's quite subtle, but it just helps bring that pitch shifting to life a little bit. So let's add a little bit of grit into the sound. The noise generator will be very good for this. So this patch enables you to select a center frequency and also a bandwidth for this noise. So you can act somewhere between distortion and vocoding. So that's really nice just to add another dimension to the sound. Make it a little grittier. I can always change the input pitch of the audio as well, making it lower and more menacing. Or higher, and even more screechy. I'm routing all these modules to our dual plugins module, where I've got two plugins, some delay and some reverb, just to add a little depth to the sound. Now I'm using this on OSX, so I'm using just the inbuilt Apple AU plugin, but you can use whatever plugins you want. This is the routing matrix, where you can see how I've routed the audio into the dual plugins. But again, you can use this to route anything to anywhere to create interesting feedback effects, amongst other things. So if we bring the morph down again, back to zero, we hear our original sound. You can hear how, how much we've really done using Dehumanizer. We've really transformed that sound into something truly terrifying.